Today I'm going to be doing two things. I'm going to be doing a review on my mini fridge here and I'm also going to show you a tip or trick or hack on how to make this thing get colder than it normally would from the factory. So to start out this is a Danby 3.3 cubic foot model mini refrigerator. The reason I like it and the reason I bought it is number one it's got this clear front on it so I can shop and window grays and pick what I want before I even open the door. The door is also trimmed out in a stainless steel, which I've replaced all my appliances here in the kitchen. They're all now stainless steel, so that's a really nice, good match to it. There's a lockdown at the bottom, which I'll never use, but you know, if you're in a dorm and you want to keep your beer safe, that's probably pretty useful. There's also a light up at the top, which is like a, a blue LED, which shines down the front of the refrigerator and makes a nice, cool blue uh, backlight into the kitchen at night. So I have my fridge propped up on this table here, which I bought at Wally Mart. It's about 10 bucks. And I painted the legs a different color to match other things in the kitchen. But I did this so that you don't really have to bend over to get anything off the bottom shelf. Back right behind it, there's an outlet for power. That used to be a 240 to run a window unit, AC unit. But since I've got central air now in the house, I repurposed that to a 120 outlet, rewired it. So I have an outlet right behind the refrigerator to plug in. So I've had the mini fridge for about two years now. It's really served me well. These are nice and ice cold, all the beverages in here. Uh, one thing I had to do is adjust it to make it work colder because it wasn't cold enough out of the box. The manufacturer specs say that the dial on the back at max cool is about, I think, 43 degrees at its chilliest. And then it goes all the way up to 57 if you turn it up to its warmest position, which I don't know why anybody would want anything at 57 degrees. So of course when I get this brand new, I turn that dial all the way down. And the drinks were cold, but not cold enough, not like the refrigerator. So I did a little research and I found out how to adjust this to make this work even better to get your drinks down to the temperature where you really want them. But the first step is to get a thermometer, which I bought that, it's only $5 when I bought the refrigerator itself. I kind of wish maybe they had built one in here to the door like a little LED in blue that would look cool but oh well that's only five bucks but you need this for reference to know when you start making that adjustment in the back if you're going the right way and how much of a, an affected change is taking place so let's spin this around and I'm going to show you on the back how to make that adjustment and how to make your drinks get even cooler so you'll enjoy them even better on the back side of the unit there's this little box which has your knob to adjust for the temperature control. We have to take the box off. So you're gonna pull on the, the little adjustment lever. It's pulled straight up and off. And we're gonna take out the four screws to get this cover off. Now with the cover off, we can see where that screw is. It's right here. You might need to just take this wire, which is on a terminal, pull it straight down off the terminal for easy adjustment. But think of this as like the coarse adjustment for the temperature control. And then your knob on top is going to be more like your fine adjustment for the temp control. So what I'd recommend anybody doing is, is taking like a Sharpie or some fingernail polish. Make a mark on the head of the screw off to the side of the chassis. This way you know where that screw was set from the factory when you originally got it. From there, take another post-it note, write down the date, what your temperature was, how you adjusted the screw, and then stick it on the back. So I adjusted it a half a turn back counterclockwise, and I'm going to wait a day or so, see where the temperature stabilizes, come back to this post-it note, and then I have reference. So this way, the next day, I don't go, which way did I turn the screw? And it takes you a lot longer to get it adjusted properly. If you follow this method in probably about three steps, you can get this adjusted to the exact temperature you want it to. Mine, as far as the coldest, it goes down to about 33 degrees. And once it gets up to about 41, maybe 42, that's when the compressor kicks back in and cools everything back down. With the cover back on, I have my knobs set to about the middle, so I still have a little bit of range to make it just a little cooler or just a little warmer if I want, which is nice, but it's pretty well set the way I want it. So there you have it. That's my mini fridge review and mod tip for you. I'm feeling a little thirsty, so I think I'm going to go over there and grab myself a nice cool dew. So let's check out this can on the workbench. Let's see how cold this is. Wow, 
about 38 38 degrees on this can this is really nice and cold also too I'd recommend getting one of these Yetis these are worth their weight in gold so if you put it in the Yeti right away you're gonna have a nice cold drink every time ha huh. as always thanks for watching